All right, guys, what would you say if I told you that I could give you four, maybe five tips to make you immediately shoot more accurately? Number one, a good master grip. What's a master grip? The master grip is how you, your flesh, interfaces with the weapon, with the tool. I'm gonna show you with the uh, Langdon Beretta and I'm gonna show you with a Boresight Solutions Glock and maybe I'll grab a little small pistol too. Main thing you wanna think about is high and tight. I want no space between flesh and the trigger guard. I want no space between flesh and the beaver tail or whatever the back strap of the gun looks like. I'll show you on a Glock as well. I want that gun to be locked in. And a master grip means that every time I come out of the holster or I come up off of a table on a range, that grip is locked in the same way every time. That same way is gonna give me repeatability so that when I put a gun out in front of me, pe pressing a pistol out, it points to the same place each and every time. I'm really quick, gonna show you what that looks like with that strong side with a Glock. So I don't have that big beaver tail with this, but I'm gonna push that gun up tight. No space, no space. Now what do we do with our other hand? Rather than just keeping it straight, we're gonna cant it forward slightly. Some guys will tell you super aggressive. Look, all of our bodies are not made the same. Thing you wanna think about is you want as much flesh on the grip panel as possible. This is part of the reason little guns are harder to shoot. So check it out. My wrist is straight. Now I slightly cant it forward. See how I can get this chunk of meat up higher. What's that gonna do? Leverage, it's gonna help me control that gun. I'm gonna show you on the Beretta again. I've got all that grip panel, hand straight versus canted forward. That's a big deal. So when you are dry firing, I'm gonna grab a little gun here. When you're dry firing, you want to ensure that you are ingraining these good habits. So little gun, same thing. The, the thing you wanna make sure of is there are controls on these guns. Different, different guns have different controls, but they're in, and they're in different areas. You wanna make sure that your grip is not so high. I see guys that are so concerned with recoil control that they now impede the proper motion of the slide. You don't need to get that high. Part of it is the way in which you grip it. I've had students, one guy in particular, that is a big muscly dude, I'm guessing 275, 64, and he puts his uh, non-dominant hand so high to try to control the gun that it impedes proper uh, slide function. I'm six foot 195, and you guys watch what happens when I shoot. You don't need to be on top of the gun. So number one, a good repeatable master grip. Go check out our other videos on grip. A good one that we've done is called recoil control like a monster. We go over that grip in detail. Number two, to better accuracy, these bumps on top of the gun, this one and this one, you need to use them. They're called sights. I'm being a smart aleck. But guys, we have an issue, a lot of folks, where you don't know what to look at. If you're shooting for pure ragged accuracy, I'm talking about accuracy, that's what this video is about, you need to line these sights up. How do you line them up? So my friend Sang made me these years ago. Rear sight, right? Front sight. We want those tops lined up. Equal height, equal light. Equal light meaning here. If you don't have a good focus on this front sight though, you're not gonna see those details. So you can't just put the gun out in front of you and let it wander on the target. You need to ensure that those suckers are lined up. Make sure that you see them in good clear focus. In order to, for this to work, front sight's gonna be in good focus, rear is gonna be a little fuzzy. We did a whole video on that, which you can go watch here on the channel. And then when you put them on the target, shift your mental focus. I've got a good master grip. I've got those sights lined up perfectly. Don't press the trigger until you see the sights on the target. I know that sounds really silly. One of the things I see with students in class constantly, when they're missing, we talk. Okay, we've gone over what you and I just went over. And when I see them miss, I say, did you see your sights on the target? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, then you didn't see them there. So choose not to press the trigger until the sights are aligned. When you're practicing, even if you're, if you're shooting groups on the range and you're trying to work on getting better accuracy, if, if you're getting tired, stuff's bouncing around, you're having a hard time seeing, put your finger straight. Straighten it out, bring the gun in, breathe, relax, relax. If you're trying to force yourself to 
just, all right, I've been out there forever, I'm gonna take the shot, bam! You're not gonna have a good result and what you're really doing is you are ingraining more bad habits. So in the context of accuracy, demand from yourself the things that support accuracy. Does that make sense? Now comes step three, trigger. We've got a couple different triggers we're gonna look at, but here's the trick. And when you dry fire, when you're working on that trigger press, ensure you've got that good master grip. You're high, tight. How hard do you squeeze? Hard. It should be tiring. When you squeeze or press that trigger, think to yourself, straight back, straight back, straight back. Think about not moving anything. If you're squeezing or pressing the trigger and there's a bunch of movement happening to the muzzle, i.e. the end of the gun where the bullet comes out, you're gonna be missing targets when you are firing for real. That's that double action. We'll check out this Glock. So I've got good sight alignment, press, press, press. That's another way you could look at it. I say that to myself a lot. Good alignment, press, press, press. Makes sense? Little gun here like the car. Good alignment, press, press, press. Long trigger pull on that. We could look at a double action revolver. Empty, all right, so good sight alignment, press, press, press. Press, 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 press. If you are not ingraining the ability to push that trigger straight to the rear without disturbing the sights, as soon as you put live rounds in the gun, they're gonna go all over. Next thing, body posture. So a lot of guys get really wrapped around the axle of how you should stand. We're talking about accuracy here, not recoil control. You guys maybe have seen videos where I stand on one foot and we shoot targets quickly. If once you know how to hold the gun, body posture with a pistol, 45 caliber and below is not that important because there's just not that much recoil in a little handgun. Even with a gun like this, I, I could stand on one foot and go like this. Boom, 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 and hit targets. What's happening is I'm not pressing the trigger until those sights are aligned. Number five, regardless of if you're using irons or a red dot, ensure that you are talking to yourself through this process. This sounds goofy to some people, but here's what this looks like to me. So I'm on the range, I pick my gun up, I load, seat, lock, tug, I forcefully cycle the action. I'm gonna do a press check and we can do another video on that if you don't know why. I wanna make sure that gun's loaded. If I'm gonna come back to my holster, I do that. If not, I make sure I have my grip, whatever my target is, I press out. And I think to myself, all right, I've got a good rock solid grip. I've got perfect sight alignment. My finger's on the trigger where I want it. Press, 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 good shot. Now notice I'm not popping my head up because if I'm shooting, I'm not gonna do that. So now I'm back on the target and I'm good, good. Press, press, press. Sight alignment looks good. I'm ready for another. Press, press. I'm still feeling good. Sight alignment's good. Press, press. Starting to fatigue. Finger straight, come in, shake it out. And I go through this mentally. Very simple stuff. If you wanna get really accurate with a gun, if you wanna be able to have laser-like pinpoint accuracy and focus, have a repeatable master grip. Utilize the sights. Make sure the sights are aligned properly on your gun. So you might want to zero it, might need to zero it. We'll do another video on that. Ensure that you are pressing that trigger smoothly and straight to the rear. Ensure that your body posture is setting you up for success. A little forward weight bias may be helpful, but I don't want you to get wrapped around the axle on stance. More importantly is that you're comfortable in the context of accuracy. And then five, reinforce everything that we're doing in our training, reinforce it verbally and mentally. Who cares what other people around you might think? That is how champions become champions. That's how winners become winners. Guys, if you dig these videos, subscribe, share them with your friends. We dig doing them for you. We appreciate the support that we get from you. It means a lot to us that you spend your time learning with us. Let us know if you have any questions. Let us know if you have any comments or concerns. If you don't like them, keep those to yourself. <laughs> but on a serious note, we've got a lot of awesome classes coming up. They're always on the calendar at carrytrainer.com. We've got a great Instagram account. If you have not yet seen that, we've got a lot of short little tips and uh, tricks over there. Be well. Tell somebody you love them. Don't be a dickhead. Be well.